Hello, I'm Kristen Lee. So I don't know how I'm going to title this, but it all started with, hopefully all my books don't fall down. Oy. This book. So long story long, my cousin, when I was in New York, came in to my grandmother's on my birthday and he had this book in his hands. So he was like, here, you want to read this and then bring it back when you come back in May. And I was a little intimidated because she thick and I, um, I, I got nervous about it because like I fell asleep and I dropped it and I bent it. So I ended up buying him a new one. So now this is mine. But because of that, I thought, well, April is all about spring cleaning. So why not start clearing some space of the larger books that are on my bookshelf, especially if I'm going to get into making book nooks and things like that, I'm gonna need the space on my shelves. This is how my brain works. So why not start getting, not rid of, but figuring out if you're rehoming or reselling or keep, keeping and putting it in your red bookshelf. So I'm like, that's a great idea. So let's start with this. And then my other physical books that I would like to get to, I'm definitely going to try and finish this one by the end of the month because this one's like two. And uh, hopefully I can finish it. And then I had bought this series um, at my used bookstore. I have one, two, three, three of these. And I was like, I have all three. And if I don't read them, they're just taking up space. So I, I should start and, you know, get on it. So, and I also found out that this is on audiobook um, on any play. So if I don't, sometimes with um, fantasy books, I can't pronounce, you know, the characters or where they're at or whatever. So I'm excited. So those were like three physical books that I wanted to get to. And then my audio books, I decided um, I, I wanted to start getting to my fairy loop books because a lot of my favorite booktubers that turn me on to fairy loop are either leaving the, the company because of the the quality of the books I, I don't know if that it's like what what's on the inside doesn't match the outside so like the outside is gorgeous but the inside is meh and then they're spending all this money on this decorated book that's gorgeous, but they didn't enjoy the book itself. So I started with Hurricane Wars. I did not like it. I ended up selling it on Pango. It, it went like that, though. Um, I had an issue with the pining, and I it, for such a large book, it felt like the author was piecing together all the things that she wanted in the stories, you know, the storyline to come. And she tried to mesh it all into one book so that she can get her fan base. And then people that are going to stay with the books are going to, you know, it's going to be explained more throughout the series. But I won't be sticking with the series because I did not enjoy just the politics and it, it just, it didn't mesh well for me. So I did that one. And then I did like this one, Son of Blood and Ruin. Um, it was <sighs> pitched as a Mask of Zorro retelling with a, uh, a gender twist. Um, I, I see where they thought that that was a good way to, you know, pitch it out to readers, but it's more of a shifter fantasy book, not even paranormal. I don't know. Um, 
I know that a lot of people had issue with the author using certain verbiage, um, but I did like the fact that in the beginning of the book, she said I used terminology and things like that that I know is known globally, mostly, rather than what the term should be politically correct. Um, that didn't bother. The only thing that really bothered me about the book was the, um, the Spider-Man moments where I knew the identity of people and I knew since page one, and <laughs> they started finding out different identity reveals and then the names would switch and I was like, who is this person and and do they turn into a panther and what why 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 is she here again and I so I had an issue with that but other than that I enjoyed it so I, I'm keeping this one and I'm starting Cassandra Clare's sword catcher I'm really hoping that I like it um because I love Cassandra Clare and um I, uh, I had an issue with Clockwork Angel, just because I'm not really a historical reader. Um, I, I really don't know much about this. I do know that it's 50-50 uh, on how people feel about it on Goodreads and BookTube and BookTok. So I'm going to give it a whirl, see what happens. And then back to this book i if you like harry potter and lord of the rings you might like this book um it is it was fantastic i you have to take small bites you can't well i mean you could jump in and just read the whole thing i needed to take small bites because the world building and the character development was so well done and so well paced that it felt like you were really on this journey for however many months they were together. And the main character going from a very privileged individual going on the road to find what he thinks is his destiny um, and seeing him grow as a person was really, really good. Um, and I love Denny. Denny was my favorite character and my favorite side character was Oi. But it's about orcs and goblins and fae and it's just, it's, it was really, really well done. So I've been telling anybody that likes that kind of, you know, fantasy book, get this. I think it's on KU. Um, I think when I looked it up, I was like, man, I could have told him to keep his book and I would have read it, but I probably wouldn't have read it. <laughs> I would have just sat there. So I'm glad that I finished it. I stayed up until midnight last night to finish it because I was stuck on the last 250 pages because I was at that point where I wanted to finish so that I could go to the next book. But I also wanted to savor the rest of it because the last 100 pages, it just goes off and it was, it was really well done. So there's that. And then I showed you... The two other big books I want to get to. I did go through Any Play and Libby, and I went through a lot of my series books and I put them on audiobook, like a playlist, um, for when I travel in May. So I'm gonna keep this roll that I got going. And then the other thing that I'm gonna be doing is Maggie from Maggie's Books and Stuff, she does a traveling book group with uh, her Patreons or Patronis. And I opted out of round one because I don't know how to an annotate. I, I don't know how to do it. I'm going to learn. And I, I told them, I was like, I'm a little bit intimidated, but I want to learn how to do it and see if it changes how I read. And I also want to see, because I, I, I love BookTube and BookTok, and I love finding out what people love about the books that they choose. So you, 
with this, you get people's thoughts and opinions as they annotate it. So, and then it comes back full circle to you. So I put like four books up that I was like, you know, I really want to get rid of or not get rid of, but like go through the last few of my, um, romance reveal book box books that I hadn't gotten to. So this is the one that won with, um, it wasn't really a poll, but this is the one that got the most likes. So I'm going to be starting that today. And then we go by color. So I got a kit because I don't know what I'm doing from this company called The Book Bouquet. And I've been waiting to open it. So get a thank you card. And I chose the color aqua because it's my favorite. I love teal. So isn't that cute? And it comes in its own little zippy bag. So I have a pen and a highlighter and a bookmark that I can write the books. That's cool. And stickers. And then these are clear sticky notes so that I can write. I, I don't know how I'm going to feel about writing in a book. I mean, you just heard what I had to do with my cousin because I dropped the book and I bent it. Anyway, and then these are my sticky notes. That is really cool. So I will let you know how that goes at the end of the month when I do my wrap up. And then the only other bookish content that I have going on this month is I'm going to do a haul video because I have a few signed books that I got from one of my favorite authors, Fairy Loot. <laughs> they were battling with uh, Mother Nature for the month of March. So their book order came in late. So I have a feeling that March and April's book are going to be coming around the same time. And then I've been picking up books here and there. So that's going to be another video. But yeah, that's that's today's video. I'm really hoping I like this book. I'm nervous. It's 23 hours on audiobook. <laughs> so, wish me luck. I hope you're having a great day and a great week. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.